Hey, it's Kev from Blender Binge. In today's video, we're going to be going over the remesh modifier, what it is, how to use it, and why you'd use it. Ready? Let's go. Now, the remesh modifier works really well, um, but it, it, I'm not going to show you it on a cube because that's going to be pretty boring. So I'm going to delete the cube and I'm going to add in a, I'm going to add in a torus because it's going to look really cool. And I'm going to go over here. Now I'm in Blender 2.8, uh, one of the later alpha builds. And you see that they changed these icons. These are down the side in this version. They used to be across the top and they used to be colorful. Now they're not colorful and they're flat 2D drawings and they're down the side. So the wrench is still modifiers. So you go to add modifier and I'm going to say remesh. And what remesh does is it junks up my polygons. My beautiful, beautiful torus is now this kind of junked up looking nasty thingy. Okay, so you'd be tempted to go, well, this remesh modifier thing sucks because, I don't know, it just made this look like this. But you'd be wrong. Well, you'd be right if you're thinking about sharp with all these default settings. But what this is actually doing is it is taking your object and it is making each face it's recovering it with quads which are four point polygons and attempting to go with the curvature of your object so if I were to take this oct tree depth down to one you'd see it's just one flat quad push it up and it starts trying to follow the shape of your object but it doesn't have enough resolution. When you keep pushing it up, you get more and more resolution, and sooner or later, you're back to something very similar to what you started with, okay? And then you have the scale of each polygon. So the scale, or the scale of each quad, if I were to go 0 0.01, you see it's back to a flat polygon. And as I increase this, it tries to follow the curvature of your object, and once, you, once it has enough resolution, up near like, I don't know, five, then it follows the curvature again, and it's nice quads, and everything looks fine, right? So that's, that's all well and good, but it's kind of boring. So if we take mode, and we change it from sharp to smooth, all right, we now have a smoother look. But it's still kind of, I don't know, kind of, kind of similar except it's just trying to angle these polygons to be smoother the coolest thing with this modifier is when we hit blocks blocks are really cool blocks give you that kind of minecraft look so you see that when I increase this it gives me this really cool block shape right so I go from a cube all the way up to breaks it to four cubes to exponential where you now have this whole thing made of cubes like like minecraft and then the scale works the same way point oh one gives you one block scale it up okay it shrinks it down and then it splits it and you start getting this really cool approximation of your object right so that's pretty cool and if you turn on smooth shading you get this kind of i don't know nasty kind of look so just kind of leave it like that and you can start getting ideas right so you can animate this right so you could like go to frame one you could go all the way down to like nothing right one cube you could right click hit insert keyframe you could go all the way out here to like 250 you could scale this up, point 0.9, insert keyframe, and now when you go in and play it, whoa, look at that. That's a pretty cool effect, isn't it? Ah, oh, I think so. And you can use it with almost anything. See? See, getting ideas now? Told you it's a pretty quick video, but really cool. So, using this, well, you could use it with lots of different things. So if I were to take this effect here and add in another modifier, say, I don't know, wireframe maybe? Let's try that. Let's try wireframe. 
So now we have that. And we have, we have the remesh modifier happening, then we have the wireframe modifier. And it's still animated, so now I'm going from this, to this, to this, to this. Getting ideas? How about if I turn off Replace Original? Now, I start getting this, uh, this look. Oh, pretty cool. So you can see, this is really, really kind of cool. Really powerful stuff. Where else could you use this? Well, let's just say I'm not even going to use it that way. I'm just going to add in a, let's say, a cylinder and see how it works on a cylinder. So I go to Add Modifier, and I go to Remesh, and I say Blocks, and I say, ooh, I could add, the, I could add in that wireframe modifier with this. Take off Replace Original, and all of a sudden, Insta Building. <laughs> Instant architecture, I mean, kind of not really detailed, and you'd have to do something with the roof, but eh, hide the bottom, but pretty cool, right? Instant architecture, wireframe thickness, you could always put that, and all of this stuff could be animated too, hint, hint, for those effects people out there, right? So you have your Oct tree, right? You have your scale. So, getting ideas yet? Has this kind of like Wreck It Ralph type animation? I don't know. Kind of stuff? You can really get in here and just, just with, the, with this uh, remesh modifier start doing some really interesting stuff. So, like everything else, go in and play with this, okay? Play with the remesh modifier, see what it does. Um, I like it for blocks. I, uh, I'm sure other people out there have figured out really cool ways to, you know, maybe uh, use these for base mesh, for sculpting, for different stylized looks, using smooth. Sharp, I haven't really figured out a... I mean, I, I'm sure, like, I probably could figure out a use for this. I just, I haven't. I'm sure other people out there have totally figured out this really awesome use for this. I like blocks. It's a really quick way of getting some really really detailed geometry really quickly. All right, so go in, play with this, use it, and uh, like everything else, you know, the, the more you play with this, the more ideas you're going to have and the more cool stuff you're going to be able to start doing. Okay? So if you like this, if you got something out of this, hit like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification, share it, shout it from the rooftops, I don't care, anything, but just go in and learn and, uh, and get really good and just start doing really cool stuff that I didn't think of. Go be awesome. Thanks. Bye.